seasons, Teddy Bridgewater endeared himself to fans, coaches, and teammates by taking the Vikings to the playoffs in 2015. Then, a catastrophic knee injury threatened his career. Now it's three years later, and Bridgewater is starting again for the injured Drew Brees. And in this process, we've been given two reality checks. For the Saints, a glimpse of life without Brees, and for the rest of us, that opportunity can knock more than once. All right, Teddy, you've run through the tunnel of the Superdome before, but last week against the Cowboys, you ran out as the starting quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. What was that like? It was a great feeling just being able to run out of that tunnel, take the field with my brothers in front of the city, in front of my family. It's just a great feeling knowing that this is something that you've prayed for for a long time. Breeze ready for the snap. Donald in his face. It's incomplete. You're on the sideline in L.A. Drew gets hurt on that throw. He's got his thumb taped up and Teddy Bridgewater in the huddle at quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. You're up. <laughs> Walk me through what was going through your head when you had to take the field. Walking to the huddle, I just told myself I'm going to leave it all on the field. I can't think about the process of what it took to get here. All I can do is live in this moment now with these guys on this football field. It's just the second game Breeze has missed in his New Orleans career due to injury. So Teddy Bridgewater at the controls today. Quick throw, Mike Thomas, boom, across the goal line. New Orleans wins 33-27. to 27. You get your first win at Seattle. Post game, you gave a speech to your teammate. Cherish this moment, man. Cherish these opportunities that we got. Cherish this feeling of winning. And just, man, never take it for granted. What was it like to wholeheartedly deliver that message? It was one of those moments where you just had to speak from the heart. Nothing lasts forever. It can be taken away so fast. So just cherish it, live in the moment, and don't have any regrets. To be able to share that moment with those guys, it meant a lot to me. Terrible news for Minnesota Vikings quarterback Teddy Bridgewater today. Just 25 minutes into practice, Bridgewater tore his ACL, dislocated his left kneecap while planting the throw. He sustained that injury in practice just months after taking the Vikings to the playoffs. Your surgeon was quoted as saying he had a toothpick of a leg to rebuild. I mean, when you hear something like that, did you ever doubt you'd be in this position? I never doubted it. Why? Not once. I'm a strong believer in my faith. When I was 14 years old, we found out my mom had breast cancer. To watch her, she's in her bed, she was weak. Her fingernails had turned black, but throughout the entire process, she never doubted, she never questioned why her. She's still smiling, passing out that positive energy. And that shifted my mindset in life. Here she was fighting for her life, and I'm just here fighting for her at the time, my leg. So I knew that it was a serious injury, but at the same time, it wasn't the end of the world. So I knew that there was still hope. After your surgery, you get medically cleared, you sign with the Jets, yeah. possibility to start there, they draft Sam Darnold, yeah. and then they trade you here where Drew is entrenched. How did you process all of that? When I got traded here, I actually was excited because I knew that there was an opportunity to be around a bunch of offensive-minded guys and see what made this team such a great team in the past decade. You have one chef in the kitchen who's the best chef in the world, and I had the opportunity to learn under this chef. So ever since I got here, it's been up for smiles. And you had an opportunity to leave. Yeah. You met with the Dolphins. You could be their next quarterback, and you opted to come back here. Yeah. Why? I took the visit to Miami. We played this game. We want to start. In the end, it goes back to what I said about just being able to learn from that top chef in the world. I'm only 26 years old. I'm still young. I have a lot of football left in me. So if I can just continue to just grow as a player in New Orleans, then I feel like the sky's the limit for me. Now, Bridgewater says he hasn't thought about the date when he'll return to the bench as Breeze's backup, but he did say he considers every snap he plays an audition. Remember, his contract expires at the end of the season. And in closing, I'm going to leave you with this. Left tackle Teron Armstead said this of Bridgewater. It's amazing that Teddy is one of our leaders because we all know his story, and all of the guys know he is genuinely one of those people who simply is grateful just to wake up every day.